Hey, hey, guys, it is your girl, Insomniac Writer, a.k.a. R.S. Lewis, and today I got a trailer reaction. Mm, excuse me, I don't know where my voice is. I guess I left it back in Florida. Anyway, I'm glad to be back. Uh, I did upload some of the stuff that I did not get the chance to upload before I left, so hopefully you got to check that out. But today we're here to put a new reaction. I'm looking at The Continental, which is a prequel, I believe, from the world of John Wick. Actually, it's called The Continental from the world of John Wick. And it follows The Continental. I'm looking forward to it. I heard about it literally, like, yesterday. And I was like, hmm. Anyway, I am ready to review this. So let's look at it. Get your water. I got mine. I don't have any popcorn today like I did last time. I wish I had. But whatever. That's neither here nor there. I'm going to shut up and let's get to it. A suit doesn't make a man. That's what's inside the suit that counts. It's resourcefulness, and perhaps an open heart. Well, what are you waiting for? I haven't finished my drink. This sacred institution wields power beyond your imagination. Winston, your brother stole something from me. What you took is very important to a lot of very dangerous people. Find him, because if you don't, I'll bring the weight of this whole institution down on you both. Sharon, show our guests the door. You made a big mistake coming here. You're my brother, Frankie. We have to strike first. And I need all the help I can get. How are we supposed to believe a guy in an ascot can pull this off? It's a cravat. If we're gonna take on the Continental, every freak in that hotel will be after us. Oh, that's lovely. We need guns. Lots of guns. This is more than vengeance. This is justice. Can you dig it? Let's take this house and everything that comes with it. And away we go. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Okay, okay, that was the Continental. We're looking at the world of John Wick before John Wick. So it's the 70s. So I'm surmising uh, John Wick is in his, he's either a preteen or a teen at this time. It's following Winston, the owner of the Continental in New York. And I'm guessing this is before he becomes the owner. Him and the Sharon, the guy, you know, Lance Reddick. By the way, RIP to Lance Reddick. Amazing actor. His, his passing was it kind of hit me and it was right before this film came out. So definitely uh, rest in peace and my condolences to his family. I, and it, it just feels surreal. It says he's a, he was probably attached to this during the filming or whatever before he passed away. But we do see his, his younger version is played by I am Midi Adigun. I, I, I don't know how to say this. We know I am terrible with names. I am apologizing in advance for this actor's name, as well as any other actor that I mispronounce, because I, I do it often. So y'all ain't got to come for me in the comments, because I already know I'm trying, okay? 
you you see you see him now. You, obviously, you got Winston again. It's following a younger version of him, played by Colin Woodle, Woodell. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm looking over there like somebody's going to help me. But Colin Woodell, and I've seen him, and I remember him from the Purge series that was uh, on the USA, I believe. That wasn't bad, and he was on un, uh, Unfriended, which wasn't good. It wasn't terrible, but I was just like, mm, okay. But, yeah, he's playing a young Winston. And I like it, you know, the suit. The, the, you know, like, it, 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 this, the, you could tell it's him. So, you know, he says the suit doesn't make the man. It's what's inside the suit that counts. I was like, okay. Okay. And then, <laughs> then when he says we need guns, lots of guns. Now, I don't know uh, about you guys, but I, I felt that that was a, a callback to the Matrix that starred Keanu Reeves, who said that when they had to go uh, rescue Morpheus. We need guns. Lots of guns. <laughs> I'm kind of excited about this. It doesn't feel like boom, 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 like a bunch of explosions all crazy. It doesn't feel like <laughs> it's like it's, it's crazy. It looks like this is going to be a mini series, so we're not looking at a long extended web series. This is just a mini series. I actually kind of miss mini series. I used to dig them. I mean, it gave us stuff like it chapter 1, chapter 2. We got other mini series. Like I grew up on mini series. So, to see this, I'm like Okay. I'm not I'm not even mad about it. It's going to um look at Winston how he a got to become the owner or the 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 run the person in charge of the Continental. And just how smart he was. Now we get to see him fighting, and 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 in addition to his origin story, which he he does. I mean, you could tell he's obviously a badass. I mean, you got to be somewhat of a badass to manage a whole bunch of serial killers and not. I don't want to call them serial killers. I'm sorry, paid assassins, and like people are doing this for the money, like happy to do it. <laughs> But um, I don't want, like, one thing about this 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 universe, this John Wick universe, every character, even if they died within minutes, with the exception of the random henchmen, they all are very memorable. The more recent one with the guy from, speaking of it, the, the one that played the newer Pennywise, even to uh, Reek from Game of Thrones. <laughs> I'm bad with names. But I remember these characters killed his dog. He killed his damn dog. And then the dad had had to jump in like, please don't kill my stupid ass son. And John Wick kills his stupid ass son. And this started this whole franchise. Even what's her face from Orange is the New Black. You know, just just every character was memorable in their own right, in their own way. Doesn't matter who they were in relation to John Wick, whether they were an obstacle, an enemy, or an ally. I'm hoping that they don't stray far from that and just kind of do like a fan service. Like, you know how people are like, oh, well, Keanu Reeves isn't doing John Wick right now, but we need to keep it going. We need to like milk this for everything. I don't want this to be a cheap ploy to keep us in, uh, like invested in this this franchise because it's still new, you know? And the, I'm not sure if you saw the last John Wick. I don't know where they're going to continue with it. So it may be prequels. And considering uh, uh, Sharon, his 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 bell man, um, his, his and right hand man that helps him run the Continental, you know, considering the actor, it has you know since passed and spoiler alert, so did the character. It's good to see them back together again, even though they're played by two very different people. But the the likeness is kind of okay. I love this, this this these characters. I love the story. I love the action, the violence. Yes. So, and I'm, you know, I'm always like, well, what, how did they get here? Like, how did Winston become this guy, the, the you know, the manager of the Continental? And then it's taken it back to the 70s. So you saw me jamming. 70s, I wasn't born yet. I was born in the 80s, but I like the 70s. We've gotten so much 80s stuff. I'm so tired of the 80s. I'm, I'm, thank you. Take me back to another decade. I haven't seen a good 70s era, um thing like the cars the clothes the music everything i'm i'm hype i'm definitely loving that plus you got a little modern spin on it because it's pulling some stuff from the newer john wick movie and we can see that a lot hasn't changed 
in the continental, the physical building inside, the way they run stuff. You've seen the lady with the tattoos and the updo and whatnot and the skirt. Like, she's dressed very sexy and sleek, but with tattoos. It's still a hint of conservatism. This is dripping with a lot of, of the John Wick universe. Now, as far as Ian McShane, he is just amazing as Winston in the John Wick films. Um, he was amazing in American Gods. Like, I just love him. Like, he's just so awesome. And it, I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm feeling this film. I'm feeling him in this, as, in this role. He's just, I don't know, he just has this charisma on screen, you know. I don't know what was going on with his teeth in the last one. It was like, whoa, buddy, turn your teeth down. <laughs> but his character was still awesome, and I'm not even mad. So I hope that Colin Woodell, he is a good actor for the most part. I can't go by just the two things I've seen him in. He wasn't terrible in The Purge. I mean, he wasn't the best person in the world in that in that show, but he also wasn't a terrible, he wasn't terrible in the role. So I think he can do good. He's, he seems to have a good grasp on what Winston's character would be like when he was younger. I'm wondering if we'll see Lawrence Fishburne's character, a younger version of him, uh, but we don't know yet. I dug it. I like it. And I'm going to go watch it on Peacock because I still apparently have that streaming service too. <laughs> like, it was like, what's the point of having cable? You can have like all these streaming services and you will pay basically what you're paying in cable. I don't have every streaming service. Well, I probably do. I don't know. But in, anyway, I'm going to check this out. So what did you guys think of the Continental the world of John Wick. <laughs> did you like it? Did you love it? The trailer, that is. Um, are you going to tune in and watch it? I think this looks good. I, like I said, I cannot complain. I believe that it does air in a few weeks uh, in September 22nd. Yes, September 22nd. It's going to be on Peacock. So if you do have access to Peacock, check it out. If not, don't check it out. But Leave your comments down below because where else are you going to leave them? So let me know what you think. Are you going to, like, what do you just think about it? Because I'm, I'm a, I'm a tune in. If you follow me on Instagram, all my stories, as well as what used to be Twitter and also now the new threads, I do post information, like, you know, my thoughts on films. I do not post a lot of reviews as much as I used to. And I also post stuff on my um, website, drunkeninsomniacwriter.com. So follow me on those, any of those, and uh, check me out, and we'll talk movies there. I'm, I'm always talking about something. So anyway, I'm out of here, guys. Take care. Be awesome. Be you. But above all else, love yourself. And it's great to be back in this freezing studio. Fix it, somebody. <laughs>